cafe anyway. Hey, hey. Mike's Daily Podcast. It's FF episode 2547, 2547. On a day where it's not raining, thankfully, we like it that way. Mike's Daily Podcast. In Podcastro Valley, Cafe Anyway, at the last place on earth. We are here full of mirth. And for what it's worth, that's not who passed away. Steven Stills, no. It was David Crosby. How sad. What a cool guy. Oh, I got to, I saw him in person at a Clint Black concert. He was walking around Mike's Daily Podcast with his wife at the Santa Barbara Bowl. This was probably 2002, something like that. Mike's Yes. Daily He had just gotten his new liver. Podcast. And it lasted him yeah. over 20 years. By my estimate And it was sad His wife His long Long love of his life Who he met He he said I remember seeing her eyes And she just grabbed me Her I remember him Remarking about her eyes On some VH1 Behind the music thing So they were together In fact they were together There that day That I saw them But she announced the news That David Crosby Had passed Ugh So so all these greats Jeff Beck All these greats Jeff Beck And I'm trying to think of other ones recently Well, Lisa Marie Presley I don't really know any of her music But There she was And gone too soon So another thing that's gone too soon Is Sierra Mist This is an open letter to the PepsiCo Corporation Um the, oh, Sierra Mist, May 7th, 1999 to January 9th, 2023. And this was from dig.com wrote this. Sierra Mist is being discontinued. PepsiCo has announced that the lemon lime soft drink, once known as Team Slice, and at one point Mist Twist. Oh, I remember Slice. And here's today's podcast picture. It's not a picture of Sierra Mist. But of a beautiful sunset I saw this evening in Fremont See it at mikesdailypodcast.com In its place will be Starry A new caffeine-free Or if you're in Canada, Story A new caffeine-free soda with the tagline Starry Hits Different Which is allegedly appealing to Millennials and Gen Z And Gen Zeals Neals. The new beverage will be Quote, easy to drink and optimally sweet this all comes from the press release sent by Pepsi. Oh, Basil's not happy about that either. Even though I don't think he ever drank Sierra Mist, but... Yes, can you feel his upsetness? The late, great Basil the Boxer. Sorry, Basil. He just drank water primarily. I think he had a little sip of a beer once, but... With Starry, says Pepsi, we were able to create a game-changing... Recipe with the perfect balance of lemon lime flavor and sweetness compared to the competition. At PepsiCo, we are hyper focused on consumer centric innovation, and we know there's a strong demand for lemon lime flavored soda with the category continuing to accelerate. With one product dominating the category, consumers deserve another option, one that hits different. Starry is bright, optimistic, and rooted in culture and fun. Who writes this stuff? I want to steal that that slogan, that tagline at the end of that little paragraph. Mike Staley podcast is rooted in culture and fun. But what about our dear old pal Sierra Mist, the second option at every pizza party, at an ice skating rink from our youth, the only working section on the machine at the Taco Bell. And the wrong thing purchased by your mom when she went grocery shopping. Sierra Mist was truly always a bridesmaid and never a bride. In this open letter it says, I'd write a eulogy, a real eulogy here, but good riddance. It wasn't even as good as 7-Up. Nowhere near Sprite. So we can live without it. Goodbye Sierra Mist, whose name might suggest it was a Mountain Dew clone, but in fact was not. Because of the mountains and Sierra, I get it. Nobody really loved you, and despite the bad name on Starry, 
It's cool design and promising upgrade in taste makes you a relic of the past. Like Surge, Sierra Mist was almost 24 years old at the time of its passing and it survived by Starry and the Pexco Corporations. Uh... And this author wrote I tried Starry shortly after writing this article And it's dot 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 Like about 20 dots dot 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 Perfectly Cromulent Interesting I didn't know that was a word I'm gonna have to look that up So there Thought I'd pass that along to you Um, And this other bit of news That I received Today That Microsoft is going to lay off 10,000 employees Microsoft said Wednesday that it's letting go Of 10,000 employees And add that to all the other Layoffs happening First it was Twitter Remember Eon was like get get out of here Everybody get out of here Then there was Mega Meta Meta Splash Mountain Dew No Facebook That's right Whatever they're called They let go of 10,000 employees Through March 31st As the software maker Braces for slower revenue growth Microsoft did The company is taking 1.2 billion dollars Charge In the fiscal second quarter That will result in a negative impact Of 12 cents to earnings per share Alphabet, Amazon And Salesforce Alphabet is Google are among the technology companies that have lowered headcount in recent weeks. The contraction comes after demand for cloud computing and collaboration services picked up as enterprises, government agencies, and schools encourage remote work to reduce COVID exposure. The layoffs have affected employees in the following divisions. HoloLens, Microsoft Edge, Marketing, 343 Industries, and Bethesda As we go outside a cafe anyway We're bringing Mike Silly podcast Somewhere in Podcastro Valley The last place on earth Anyway U.S. is providing the Ukraine With a $125 million gift To repair power grid The Biden administration is providing $125 million for electrical parts And other supplies to help repair crews In Ukraine to keep up with Russian strikes pounding the country's Electrical system The U.S. International Development Aid Chief said Wednesday This reported by the Associated Press The U.S. Agency for International Development Plans to use the money to procure Backup power for Kiev's Water and district heating systems The funding also will help replenish supplies of gas turbines Transformers and other vital power equipment The FAA is changing the EKG parameters Which will allow pilots to pass health tests easier Late last year after the vaccine rollout The Federal Administration Aviation Administration The FAA Quietly changed the EKG parameters for pilots In a move that's raising concern about flight safety According to a report on Substack By Vaccine Safety Research Foundation founder Steve Kirsch The October 2022 version of the FAA Guide for Aviation Medical Examiners Widened the range acceptable for pilots to fly The PR used in the range Of 12 to 2 he writes It is now 12 to 3 And potentially even higher This is a very wide range It accommodates people who have cardiac injury Okay don't know too much about that But I don't know if I should be quoting Steve Kirsch on my podcast I've heard some things New Zealand Prime Minister has announced the resignation Uh, Leftist New Zealand Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern Announced yesterday that she's resigning from her position Because she does not have the stamina to seek re-election Well, she did have a very, very, very busy Couple of years With COVID and everything else And the horrible uh, shooting Wasn't it at a mosque in New Zealand? Oh, she's been through some hard times Okay Outside a cafe anyway Somewhere in Podcastro Valley 
the last place on earth I would like to now do something I have not done for a while on this program and that is the Mike Matthews New Tunes Feud only this time instead of it being two songs up against each other we're gonna go with five here we go I'm gonna play you these are all new songs you've never heard before and we're going to kick it off with a band called Windows Gold Windows Gold is a female fronted quartet formed in Costa Mesa, California by husband wife duo Ben Sauer on guitar and Madeline Starr on vocals, later joined by Ian Zamora on bass and Carson Ford on drums. Let's listen to a little bit now. With all of these, I'm going to only be able to play a little snippet of it, otherwise, I get dinged by YouTube. As you know So here we go This is a song called I Can't Help You And it's going to play Right now Through the magic Of Well it played earlier I tested this earlier And everything worked great But now as I play it Nothing is happening At the moment Let's see Alright we might have to Go back to that one Let's see Oh oh here we go That Does that help it? No Interesting. It is not there. If I click on this, will any. Oh, what's that? Alright, I guess that's all we're gonna hear of them. And that wasn't the song I wanted to play. It was a song called My Time to Talk. Which apparently, they I gave them their time to talk and they did not. So, there we go. There's a little bit of the band called Windows Gold. Okay, the next band is by someone who has been on the podcast. Drew Holcomb. Drew Holcomb and the Neighbors. They have a new song Hey friends Ellie and I Because it's uh, his wife and he uh, Released a new single today Bones is available We're so excited to play this song For all of you On our residency tour Starting next month Hope you love it We are coming to Chicago Atlanta, Dallas, New York Knoxville, DC And Seattle And we will be playing Three nights in each Okay, let's see. Let's listen to this. It's called Bones. Hope you love Cheating time, cheating death. Every time we take a break, we don't have to do it alone. Oh, I love him. Okay, there's a. You can hear an interview I did with him about seven years ago at mikesdailypodcast.com. Just put your little cursor over where it says home. And you'll want to go to interviews A through F Because I start with the first letter in his name Instead of the last name, the first name So look for Drew and you'll hear that interview that I did with him a while back He's still putting out great music Drew Holcomb Okay, that was song number two Song number three is Frankie Flowers Hi Mike He writes in an email to me at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com Throughout all the beginnings and endings in life You find your serotonin, whether it's in a place, a pastime, or a person. I wrote serotonin as an escape from reality, even if it's just for a moment in time. Give me one moment in time to do destiny in that one moment of time. I will be... I will be free. Thank you, Whitney. Hey, where were we? Oh, I wrote serotonin as an escape from reality, even if it's just for a moment in time. Serotonin being the happy chemical in our brains is something that I feel we're all constantly longing for. So if you're able to find it in person, that is pretty cool. Frankie Flowers is their name. And here is a little bit This song is called Brain Dead Kiss Me Like the World is Ending (laughs) 
There you go. Frankie Flowers. That's song number three. Song number four is by uh, this group here called NOIA. NOIA. Today, Brooklyn via Barcelona experimental Spanish pop artist NOIA, alias for composer and engineer G- Gisela Fulia Silvestra announces her debut LP Gisela along with the announce she shares lead single Eclipse the Amor featuring a duet with Raquel Berrios of Puerto Rican duo Busca Buya. Ah, let's see. This <laughs> is a lot of words Mike has never said before. Let us listen to this song. It's called Gisela by NOIA. Oh boy. Okay. And the cat just jumped on me and something smells kind of off. Don't know what it is. Stinky cat. That's another song by uh, someone from a famous TV show. And finally, song number five is Augusta. And can you hear the cat? (laughs) Can you hear Rocky? Purring. He's purring away. He's so happy to be part of the podcast outside a cafe anyway, somewhere in Podcaster Valley. Dear Mike, we're Augusta. Do you remember there was the band Augustana in the 2000s? Uh, Boston was the song. Take me back to Boston. I saw them perform at Pepperdine University. They have this beautiful outdoor area that overlooks the Pacific Ocean. Malibu. You see it all. It's beautiful there. And you know who was the opening? Well, they were the opening act. And the headliner was OK Go. Here it goes. Here it goes again. Oh, here it goes again. And they also did a cover of Electric Light Orchestra's Don't Bring Me Down. OK Go, though, is known for those bizarre videos they did. The music videos that got really popular on YouTube. They were like one of the first ones to really go viral. To have that whole viral thing happen. Where they released a video and all of a sudden a million people were watching it on YouTube. They would do these videos where it was all one take. And they would be doing something strange like dancing, jumping between uh, walking machines, treadmills. Or dealing with uh, paintballs or some other crazy thing. Now, August does the name of this band. A Toronto-based seven-piece alternative rock band. They say, Mike, many of us relate to the feeling of watching someone we care about being treated poorly by a significant other, knowing they could be better off. This is their new song called Better Off. It feels like a crowded room. When you're in a crowded room with everyone shouting the lyrics, we stay true to this by adding as many layers as possible. In addition to our regular guitar, keyboard, and horn player, we added strings. And a group of our talented friends sang the chorus with us. Let's listen here to a song called Little Birds. Should I just let them stay? It's too late to fly away. Feathers fall from her. Wings as they try, oh try. And that's all I can play or I'll get dinged. So which one did you like better? Song number one, the uh, Windows thing that didn't play correctly through my windows because Microsoft let go so many people go. Windows Gold. Did you like Windows Gold? Frankie Flowers was song number two with the brain dead, kiss me like the world is ending. Song number three was Drew Holcomb and Ellie Holcomb. Okay, they might have been number three and Frankie Flowers was number two. Uh, Number four was NOIA, Gisela, and song number five by Augusta Little Birds. Let me know. You can call me 336-MM-DAILY. 3 plus 3 equals 6. MM is in Mike Matthews. Daily as in what this podcast tries to be. Occasionally I get interrupted. Call now. 336-MM-DAILY. Outside a cafe anyway, somewhere in Podcastro Valley, the last place on earth. Look who's here. Hi, Mac! It's Benita the Rodeo Queen! How y'all doing? It's a disgruntled fair, tell you what. What? 
all those songs were very strange. I didn't like them. Really? Even though, you know, they might want you to join their band. Maybe uh, uh, you want to be on their songs playing the fiddle. I hate the fiddle. That's why I'm called the disgruntled fiddle player. Oh, right. Listen to the sound of Rocky the Kitten purring. Yeah, it's really nice. But who else is here? Hello, Mike. I make the lace through your hair so right now. Oh, let me try this now. Mmm, delicious. You know, I was trying to write the description on the last podcast called Pretzel. And I uh, did not, uh, couldn't do it because the cat kept stepping on the keyboard. So thank you, Rocky, for that. That's really great. Drink it right now. I'll cut you. I just took a sip right in front of you. (sighs) Well, I did last podcast go on a bit of a rant. I will say I went a bit a rantish with the whole thing with the documents and all that. And I just, you know, I know you're thinking about it. You got your own opinion. Politically, it's just, why talk about politics, really? It's, nothing ever seems to get better. Everything gets more and more stupid all the time. I know that's cynical. I know maybe you, maybe are listening, you're considering a a run for office or some kind of political position or want to be in that world. Good for you. Good luck to you. I hope you're a smart optimistic person who will bring a lot of good to this world because that's certainly what we need. Next show, it'll be the wonderful Madam Rutabaga Valentino and Bison Bentley. And with more ways to reach me, it's A-Frame. Ooh, Rocky, you stink. What is going on? Mike's Daily Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now. Mike's Daily Podcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye. Oh, wait. Don't say goodbye yet. I just realized I missed uh, th- uh, three things on my list real quick. Oh, first, uh, Rocky, he went on his first visit to his new vet, who will be his new vet or hopefully consistently his vet from now on forwards but he did really good he behaved really nicely and we found out how to clip the tips of the not the whole claw but just the really sharp part of the claw uh just to be on the safe side so we don't get scratched to bits what i remembered i forgot to talk about on the last podcast discussing covid and that is One thing COVID taught me when I got really sick, and I have mentioned this before, still one of my ears is slightly clogged. Uh, I explained why that all happened in a previous podcast, but it is related to COVID. The thing is, when I was really sick and could barely move, barely get out of my bed, I thought about all the times working in radio. And this is going back to the late 80s, early 90s, I would go to work sick. And it was common for most people at that time to go to work sick. Nowadays, you can't really because you test yourself and you know when you're sick. You know when you've got the big C. But yeah, people would, I remember people going to work. That's why we were sick all the time, probably. But I remember doing, because in radio, you're pretty much just playing music, talking into the, if your voice was all messed up because of the, your sore throat or your sickness, whatever was, whatever what you had, then it made it more difficult to actually DJ. You'd sometimes get someone calling you, man, you sound sick. You should just go home. I can't. My boss won't put anyone else in my place. And then in radio, it's sort of like showbiz where people are afraid to not take the job because if they don't take the job, then they look like someone who isn't really dedicated and they'll pass you over for someone else who is dedicated, who doesn't have a huge ego and think, Oh, I'm better than this job. You know, something they'll pick someone who's worthwhile and who's dedicated and who will be there when they say they're going to be there. So, you know, it's the ego is one thing, but if you can't back it up there, you're just a empty vessel. Your ego is nothing. And I have no respect for you. That and I also realized, so no more going to work sick, everybody. Let's just try that. 
But the other thing is the traffic in the Bay Area has gotten so bad this week. This week in particular. It might be because a lot of routes have gotten closed down. Like there's a part of A Street, which has fallen into a creek. Well, what used to be a creek, now it's a roaring river. And Eric Swallow was there last week talking all about it, saying how it's going to cost millions and millions of dollars to fix. Something like $51 million. So, yeah, if we have to find all these alternate routes home and everybody's finding the alternate routes that I was picking and now it's taking longer and longer to get home. But, hey, maybe you have an idea on how to fix all of this. Email me, mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com or comment at any of the social media that I'm on. I'm on all kinds of social media, not TikTok, but other places. And you can find all those places at mikesdailypodcast.com.